All right, it's time for some deep insecurities and overly personal thoughts that nobody really asked for. Yuppie! You know the deal, I got a time lapse painting in the back while I'm sitting here puking the insides of my brain or whatever is left of it. I get a lot of questions from artists having self-doubt and anxiety and I don't really have any advice for you, but I got some fucked up stories though and a bunch of weird points that are gonna take me a while to explain. So I don't really watch any art YouTubers and in my recommended I got this video by Ethan Becker and I was like okay that looks kinda interesting. So I clicked it and about 4 seconds in I was already jealous of that guy. He got the fake cigarette, he got the swag, his art was dope. And I was just sitting here b bubbling with jealousy. Like I didn't even watch his other videos. I just watched like one and I found out he's teaching people how to paint from imagination. And he's also worked in DreamWorks. And I started questioning myself so hard. Like, dude, what the fuck am I doing YouTube for trying to teach people how to paint? Like I don't even know how to paint from imagination. I've never worked in a studio. I don't even have a cigarette. What the fuck am I doing with my life? And when I say jealousy, people think I'm joking because there's this thing in our community like, oh my god, he's only 16 years old and he's so good at art. Haha, <laughs> somebody kill him. And I'm like, haha, <laughs> that's so funny. But when are we gonna do it though? And I'm so fucking arrogant that I thought like, you know, I'm the only artist that can act like a piece of shit. And when I found that Ethan Becker guy, he was literally better than me in every single thing. And I got super fucking insecure. And I went to one of my closest friends to talk about it. And I was like, listen, man, he got the imagination art. He worked in a studio. He's more entertaining. He's helping people get into the industry. How the fuck did I even think I can help people? And thank God my friend started sucking my dick and boosting my ego. And he was like, yeah, but you're that Eastern European kid that never had an art education, stayed home, copied some pictures and got famous on Instagram. Like, that's exactly what makes you unique. I don't really hate the fucking mainstream advice of just be yourself, be authentic. Cause I made a whole fucking video about how being yourself is overrated. Cause you get trapped into this idea of who yourself is and then that limits you. But then I also realized that it's super important to embrace your journey. Not who you think you are, but actually what you've been through. And then that kind of got me thinking about this whole idea of comparing yourself to others. Cause you always hear like, oh, you should never compare yourself to other people because you're unique and you're your own person and that just sounds like a bunch of tumblr vibes feel good type of shit how the fuck are you gonna find your weaknesses and what you're good at if you never really compare yourself to other people i think where it becomes bad is when you try to compete with them like i'm so grateful i found ethan becker to know that I shouldn't really be focusing on teaching people concept art and getting into the industry because I've never really been through that. And the same with Rose Draws. I'm so happy I talked to him and I compared myself to him so I can be like, yeah, that's not who I am. I mean, I don't really know who I am, but I know I'm not that guy. Like people always say like, don't compare yourself to others cause you're unique. But it's like, bitch, you're unique. That's why you should compare yourself to others to find what makes you unique. Is that the worst advice that you've ever heard? It might be. Like that's how I got better at art too. Like I just kept comparing my art to other people's art and being like, do I wanna go in this direction or do I wanna choose something else? Like if you just lock yourself in a basement and you never compare yourself to other people, how are you gonna get better? Like you're not gonna come up with anything original. I'm sorry, you're not fucking Picasso, bitch. But I also think that it should be combined with healthy levels of ignorance because oftentimes as an artist, you spend so much time looking at what other artists are doing that you can't help but thinking, like oh I'm never gonna be on their level so comparing yourself should go hand in hand with action because otherwise it just becomes too much and it should never be about competition which I really don't know how to do yet I struggle a lot with depression and anxiety maybe it's from all this fucking comparing that I do but I have these tendencies where I'll go through feeling like a god and feeling like I got life figured out to the next day feeling this deep depression and just 
feel like nothing really makes sense and that probably sounds like i need some help but i've been through so many cycles that it has kind of told me that both the depression and the confidence cannot be trusted because the only thing that's gonna stay is your progress and that kind of brings me back to the subject of self-doubt because you can't identify yourself with the self-doubt the same way that you can't identify yourself with the depression or the confidence because it's just part of the cycle of being an artist or it's part of the cycle of being bipolar in which case you definitely need some medicine but i'm just a bold guy on youtube i don't know but that cycle that i've been through a million times just kind of goes to show how fake confidence is because people sometimes say like oh you look so confident but i really feel like the least confident person and honestly i think the whole idea of self-confidence is bullshit i know one of my other weird theories but i feel like confidence is this made-up thing people think that self-confidence is lack of insecurity but i think that self-confidence actually comes from insecurity because you feel weak and you feel like you need to build this thing around you to make you feel strong and actually propel you forward. And maybe that's not real confidence, but what the fuck does real self-confidence even mean? Like, you're not born with it. Like, the most successful people oftentimes have the most fucked up childhoods. So I feel like if you mix insecurity with anger, it can actually make you a lot better. It's gonna lead you to a lot of fucked up things, like making weird videos on YouTube, but at least you're gonna work on your insecurities. Because if you have insecurity and sadness, which is what happens oftentimes in artists, it just cripples you. That's why I don't really believe in this whole thing like, oh, self-love is always the answer. Yeah, but if you're super depressed and insecure, you don't really have a lot of self-love. And when people tell you that you need to have it and you don't have it, you just feel sad that you don't have it, and then you feel even more insecure, and then you feel even more depressed. And don't get me wrong, I feel like self-love and positivity should always be the ultimate goal. But it's also so close to just lying to yourself and being like, oh yeah, I'm insecure, but you know what? I'm good. And by the way, it's so funny how people say like, oh, you're so unique, but then they also believe in that bullshit of being an extrovert and an introvert. Like, how can you split everybody in only two categories? Like, what are we fucking cows? I think you can have qualities of both, but when you identify yourself with either one, it just limits you. I don't know, man. I stayed at home for three years alone, but then I also love the tension being on me. So, which one is it? Boy, I tell you, the only thing that I hate more than being alone is being with other people. And the same with the 16 personality test. IFPG, IMPG, ooh, I'm IFNMP. I need to be an accountant. Yeah, just because some fucking online test told you to that also sell courses at the end. Great fucking business, by the way. I did that test over a period of an year and it gave me two completely different fucking results. Doesn't that mean you're crazy, Angel? It might. <laughs> Anyway, this video keeps getting weirder. My whole point was that self-doubt is good because it means that you're thinking. As long as you're taking action and you're not feeding into the self-doubt and you're not letting it control you, you're gonna get better. And I have a lot of self-doubt when it comes to my YouTube channel. I was thinking about deleting it recently and just starting a new one. Because I really struggle with this whole concept between being an entertainer and being an educator. Because I really hate both. Like, I don't want to be some clown twerking on the internet, although it's probably too late for that. Because people are going to get tired of that really quick, but I also... What? That was a demon. But I also don't want to be some educator who just keeps doing boring ass tutorials because you're going to get tired of that too. I guess I'm just really insecure about losing people's attention. And I've been doing great on YouTube. I get more views than ever. But the problem is that I have a very addictive personality. And when people like my content and they find me funny, I just want to make even better content and be even funnier. But I also realize that that's not a good route for me because that's not my goal. Like, I don't want to be a YouTuber like YouTube is something that I do to help my business and vision but all the validation gets me fucked up and I want to do even more so I want to invest less time in trying to be funny and scripting videos and editing and just trying to act more natural I need to work on my insecurities of losing people's attention because this shit is long term man I really want to build myself as a person in a business rather than just some shallow ass youtuber who gets caught up in the hype and see, I couldn't have all of these realizations if I didn't compare myself to Ethan Becker. Still kinda hope he quits though.
Anyway, I just wanted to tell all the artists that write me about self-doubt that I have a lot of self-doubt myself and you might think that it gets better when you get success but it actually only gets worse. But self-doubt is good because it means that you're growing baby, you just gotta take action. And I wanna leave you with these two quotes that I love. First one is from the rapper Russ, which a lot of people don't really like but I'm in love with. He wrote a book called It's All In Your Head and in the book he says, if you ever feel like you need advice or praise, you're the problem. And I get into a lot of that when I start doubting myself and I feel like there's something wrong and I need somebody to tell me what to do. And there's nothing wrong with receiving advice or praise, but you should never feel like you need it. And the second quote is from Ray Dalio's book called Principles, like principles of success and shit. And one of them says, Pain plus reflection equals progress. I think he kind of forgot to mention to take action, but that's kind of obvious. So, Pain is good because it's gonna get you better. Just, you know, don't kill yourself yet. Okay, bye.